Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be about cycling your tank, why it is so important to do so for your axolotl, and what exactly the process means to cycle your tank. So cycling your tank is one of the most important things you can do before you get your axolotl. When you are cycling your tank, you are basically building up bacteria in your tank that is going to convert toxic ammonia and nitrites into less toxic nitrates. This process is called the nitrogen cycle. It is going to begin with your axolotl. They are going to produce waste or it could be from uneaten food or rotting plants. All of these things are going to eventually break down in your tank and cause ammonia. Ammonia is very toxic to axolotls, so you do not want this in your tank. So at the beginning of your cycle, you are going to be growing bacteria that is going to convert all of the ammonia in your tank and they are going to turn it into nitrites. So that is sort of the first phase of the cycle. Now, nitrites are also toxic to axolotls. So there is a second set of bacteria that you have to wait on to grow. And this set eats the nitrites and it converts them into nitrates. Now, nitrates are still somewhat toxic, but they're much less toxic than ammonia and nitrites. So when we get to the nitrate stage, we are going to be removing those with water changes. So usually about once a week, you will do a whatever 15 to 20 percent water change of your tank water. You can also add live plants to your tank. They will help remove nitrates as well so you don't have to do as many water changes or as frequently. The entire process to begin cycling your tank usually takes about a month to two months to fully complete. One of the first things you will need to buy is a master test kit. I use this one from API. There are test strips out there, but they are not as accurate as the little bottle tests that you do. The next thing you will need is a source of ammonia. Since you should be cycling your tank without your axolotl in it, you can buy bottled ammonia. I use this one from Dr. Tim's. I like using the bottled ammonia because you can fully control how much is put into the tank. So when you are ready to start cycling your tank, you want to have your tank all set up with any decor in there and your filters running. And then you want to dose the ammonia into your tank. The dosing amounts are on the bottle. It's according to however big your tank is, but I started mine at 4.0. So that's the amount that I put into the aquarium water. And then I used my test kit and made sure it was around the dark green, the 4.0. After that, you just continue to test your water. Usually after about a week or so, you will start to see the ammonia decreasing in your tank, which according to the little guide here that comes in your test kit, it'll be getting lighter and lighter green. Sometime around this point, your nitrites are going to start increasing in your tank. They will start out at the lavender color and get darker and darker purple. Eventually those will start to go down and your nitrates will increase and you will start doing water changes to decrease those. So from here you want to redose your ammonia back up to 4.0. If your tank can process the ammonia back to zero where it is completely yellow on the chart within 24 hours and also keep nitrites in the blue, which is also zero for them, then your tank is fully cycled and ready for your axolotl. There are some tips to speeding up the cycling process. You can take the filter from an already established tank. This gives a jump start to the bacteria that is already living in the filter to spread more easily in your tank. You can put a heater in your tank and 
heat the water up a little bit, the bacteria tends to grow a little faster in the warmer waters. Just remember to remove the heater before your axolotl goes into the tank. And when you are cooling the water back down to do it slowly because you don't want to shock the bacteria that you just grew. Another option out there is to buy bottled bacteria. Some people say that this doesn't work. The bacteria can die really easily in the bottle. It's always just kind of a 50-50 shot whether it will work or not. Once your tank is fully cycled, your ammonia should always read zero and your nitrites should always read zero. And your nitrates are going to be under 20. You do want some nitrates to show up on your testing because it shows that your cycle is completing, but you never want them to go into the red. Most of the bacteria that you are going to grow is going to be in your filter and on any surfaces in your tank. So you never want to get rid of your filter or completely scrub your tank down all in one cleaning as you can crash your cycle and kill your bacteria doing this and then you would have to start the cycling process over again. So if you want to clean the inside of your tank, I would just clean like a couple things at one time and then do another section another week. So by checking your water parameters regularly, you can usually keep your cycle going pretty easily once it's established. Cycling your tank is going to help your axolotl have a safe and happy life. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.